just need to take a few notes before we start. Let me see. Okay. So, how did you hear about me, the greatest cranial nerve examinator of all time? You just clicked on a video. What do you mean you clicked on a video? That doesn't... Mm, I feel like I might have to test it for more than just the cranial nerves. Okay. Um, okay, well, what's your name? Uh, sort of stuff that you've come to expect from a cranial nerve exam, but I'll also be testing various other things as well. So, first I'll do a little, okay, I'm going to try, if I just rub this along your forehead. sensation. Okay. Well, that seems okay then. Let's try from the other side. Okay. Now I catch the forehead again. Okay. I will do it a bit quicker this time. Seems to be okay there. I have, um, I'll try it with a different piece of cotton wool. Maybe that piece of cotton wool is defective in some way. So let's see. No difference. seconds I have a little swat I need to test here. Okay. Just have a few swabs I want you to smell and see what you think they smell like. So this one first. What's that smell like to you? Not quite the smell again. Okay, well here's what I need you to do. I need you to cover your left nostril and smell it with just the right nostril. What does that smell? Okay. Try the switch the nostril again. Cover this nostril this time. Yep. Not past the side. Very close. Try again. Exactly. Herbicide for killing weeds and other such plants. Now, if you could just smell this one, tell me what you think that smells like. You've never smelled anything like that before, no? Any ideas? Any idea at all? No. Nothing. 
this is actually chloroform. It's a very light dose, so you only feel a little bit tired. For a little bit, you won't feel like you're going to pass out unless you sniff it a bit longer. Okay. Well, that's okay. Those are the two. The two main ones I like to try. People like to try familiar smells like lavender and and strawberries and um, you know various other nice things. But I think you know you would expect that, and you might just randomly guess. But no one has ever randomly guessed pesticide or herbicide or chloroform. So. I'm just going to check if you just follow this light. It's just going to come in from your left. Okay. Okay. Now it's just going to come in from your right now. to tell you where it's going to come in from. Just stare directly into my eyes, just here. Good job. I'm getting dizzy from that. Let's try that a couple more times. Just again, keep looking just at my nose. My nose. good. So, I'm just going to check your sort of eyesight and your ability to read from a distance. So, you just have this whiteboard. I'm going to write a couple things on it. And I'll, I'll go back here towards the wall. And all you have to do is, is read it back to me, okay? So I'm just going to write something down now. Just um, three letters, four letters, five letters, you know. Let's see. Okay. What does that say? concerns me because you didn't say it like the meme. You see it's why are you okay? That's that's what you should have said, but uh, that's mildly concerning. I wouldn't I wouldn't worry too much about that. I'd worry a little bit but not too much. Okay. Let's try something else now. Try some other letters. No Let's try numbers. All right, big numbers on top. You just see how far you can get down the list. Oh no, my felt tip is not working. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to anyone ever. There we go. Okay. Just read the numbers, okay? Okay, first line. Second line, good. It's the third line. Okay, okay. 
So, here's the thing. I put an A in there, and an H, and a K, an L, an M, and a C, and a B, and you read all of them. Um, even though I said to only read the numbers, so again, mild concern, just, just a little bit concerning nothing. Not a concern to be concerned about, but you know, it's incredibly concerning, but don't be concerned at all. It happens to most people. Now, let's see. I am now going to just ask you a couple questions. Just going to ask you a couple questions that'll help me figure out what's going on in that beautiful brain of yours. So, these are the questions that actually matter. These aren't questions you'll ever hear a seeing person ask, but you know. So, what is your favorite type of hose setting? That is the right answer. Anything other than the Rainmaker, the sprinkler setting, or the full are, are wrong. There is a soaker setting people use. Inexcusable. If, if you were a needle, where would you hide in the haystack? Just to the left. an interesting choice but okay when you're lighting a candle do you use a strike anywhere match a lighter or a tiny wizard that has the ability to conjure up fire okay and what pocket do you keep the wizard in this pocket I keep mine not in this pocket because sometimes I put pens in there and he gets annoyed and sometimes he melts them. It's neither here nor right, I think is how the saying goes. <laughs> when making a 2000 piece jigsaw puzzle, do you first count out all the pieces to make sure you complete the puzzle? as per the manufacturer's instructions. You don't count out the pieces. I personally do, but most people don't. I have another question. Have you ever really read the terms and conditions when you crack? I agree. I didn't think so. How many grains of sugar do you think there are in a one kilogram bag of sugar? I mean, a hundred seems a little light, but okay, we'll go with that. Now for the strangest of all the questions. What is your favorite color? It's a weird color. You're weird. What word could you not say when you were a child? Okay. Okay. This is a very important question that the government requires me to ask for um, whatever reason. But just answer it. And, uh, you know, just ignore the pigeon in the corner with the microphone. That's not, just ignore that. Have you ever attempted to break into Area 51 through a large tunnel you dug underneath the ground, only to discover the ground was 
was a simulation, and you in fact are not real. No. Are you sure? It's okay, bitch, and you can leave now. We'll find them eventually, but you know, they escape our grasp every time. When was the last time you looked left? When I put the camera with the light to your left? Okay. Okay. When was the last time you looked right? The time I put the light? Okay. Fair enough. How many hairs do you think you have on your head? seems light, but then again, you're, you're getting there. Anyway, do you prefer door knobs or door handles? Interesting. If you are no longer allowed by law to cut one of your fingernails, which one would you choose? personally choose the middle finger. Therefore, when I give someone the finger, or flip the bird, or whatever you like to call it, it would elongate the middle finger. Have you ever had an itchy tooth? Okay. Okay. No, okay. What age were you when you won your first World Championship Boxing Match. You've never won a World Championship Boxing Match, ever. I'm not going to lie that I don't want to talk to you anymore after that. Um, I'm just going to. Ignore what I'm doing here. Remember the sniff test. This is chloroform. Goodbye.